Hi everyone, I want to make a review here of the Optima GT5600 Ultra Short Throw uh, Projector. Now this is a laser projector. Uh, gives about, about 3600 lumens, which is pretty good to be honest. Um, and you can be able to develop and, and show a, a 100 inch image just a few inches away from the wall. And what I do is uh, I put it right next to the wall or just a few inches by it and it can actually do that quite well. Now there are uh, some advantages to this 5600. One of them is um, you can do auto keystone correction. So basically the four corners uh, when it shows a picture on the wall it does a good job of making it flat and, and showing that. Um, this is 1080p, not 4K, so just keep that in mind. Um, and you have about a pretty good lifespan in terms of the lamp. Uh, so this lamp on it is supposed to last uh, 15,000 hours if you average about four hours uh, each day for 10 years. So uh, pretty, pretty good uh, range right there. Now, uh, there are a variety of different connections, which I can be able to show you right now. You can go right behind it. This is how you kind of uh, place it. You've got the sensor right here in the front. The lamp is right there, as you can see. You've got these different functionalities. Um, if you want to be able to place it on, of course, you can be able to place uh, the power button right there. There's a couple other uh, ways to kind of toggle around it as well. Um, let's jump into the pros and cons as well a little later, but let's go ahead and turn this over. You've got a, a variety of different inputs. You've got HDMI, two of them. You've got USB. You've got a uh, basically a monitor uh, translator. You've got Ethernet. You've got audio in, audio out. Um, you got basically a lot of those things already in there. And as you can see here, I've got my own uh, little adapter uh, for mini DV port using a Surface Book. So uh, let's jump right into the pros and cons. So the pros, uh, you are now having, uh, with laser projectors, a lot more clarity in terms of the picture when you're uh, watching a movie or whatnot in comparison to other projectors so is this huge benefit in terms of that um, you've got a lot longer uh, lifespan in terms of the the lamp life that we kind of spoke upon earlier about 15,000 hours right if you average about four hours each day for 10 years and um, you know the, the clarity the the benefits of laser projecting and the short throw right you can only have it you don't have to mount it on the on the ceiling you don't have to mount it anywhere you can have it right on the ground uh maybe on a, a bookshelf or whatnot and you could project it right then and there um so uh i think it's pretty good in terms of that it has about 3300 well 3600 lumens which is a, a good amount to display uh, different types of colors and light onto the wall or, or, or whatever you want to be able to place it on. And that's pretty good. Um, so you've got those benefits. And FYI, I paid about $1,300 uh, after tax for this. So the, the price can be a pro and con, but if you're getting a projector that can be able to displace a good amount of uh, you know light like you're getting from a you know LCD screen or whatnot I think it's, it's a benefit I think this is definitely a benefit is much more uh, compact uh, pretty lightweight and this I mean let me go on to that in the next step as the con but lightweight in comparison to a TV okay this is uh, much more lightweight in, in comparison to like a 55 or 60 inch TV even the, the thin TVs are you know at least 50 pounds or whatnot so you know these are these are the pros um, let's jump into the cons one uh, huge con uh, with this and it is now winter is December 2020 right now and it heats up now, just imagine running this when it's not hit winter and it is summer, your whole house or room or whatnot is gonna be like a sauna uh, or a, a dry, dry, you know, dry room. Um, the amount of heat and the heat comes off right here, 
on the corner. Uh, the amount of heat is tremendous uh, coming out of this product uh, to the point that even on, in the winter, you want to be able to turn this off. You don't want to, you don't want to run it. Uh, so this fan right here where it comes out the heat, it is hot. Uh, and it has to cool down the lamp, of course, that's running and producing the amount of lumens coming out. But it is, it gets really hot. Um, that is one of the cons. Now, another con, let me go ahead and turn it on here. And by the way, when you do purchase it, uh, you will get a, a control here uh, for it. But the second con, and this is one of the reasons I, I definitely don't want to purchase this is, let me go ahead and turn off the light here. Actually, let me turn off the, the second light. As you can see here, this is not supposed to be, you know, these, these horizontal lines coming from uh, the Optima. This is not supposed to be the issue. Um, this is incorrect. This is an issue. This is a problem. And actually many others have the same issue as this. And you can go into the settings and display and you can play around with it as much as you want. And you'll find out that the reason with these horizontal lines is not due to a, fun a option or functionality to turn it off or whatnot. It is due to the lamp heating up and then removing these uh, horizontal lines. And I know this firsthand uh and you'll you'll see here in, in a few minutes but this is the only way to kind of remove the horizontal lines and this is a big shame because this is brand new i just purchased this um this a few weeks ago so i don't know if this is an issue in terms of this unit but many others are having this same issue in terms of horizontal lines so this is a big big uh sham and and, and shame <laughs> in other words so Keep that in mind. If you do have this problem, just keep in mind that many others are having the same single problem. And as you can see here, uh, it's been over a few seconds and it's still there. So first con, the heat coming out of the fan, it, is, it gets the room very hot. And having this in, in, a, in a room over summer, uh, I think it's going to be a huge problem. Um, second issue is the horizontal lines. Uh, you know, I can only imagine what will happen over time. Now, I did purchase a thing to put on the wall uh, for imagery and to make the image, you know, kind of straight. And it kind of helped out. It, was, it wasn't too bad, but for the most part, it wasn't that great. Um, so, the image quality is okay to say the least. So, let me go ahead and show you a picture of the image quality here. All right, so now we have the image quality here. This is just an Amazon book I put up there that I was looking at the, the website. But, you know, this is on the wall itself. The wall has some texture, as you can see, but it's not too bad. You know, it's it's pretty readable. You can watch a movie or whatnot on it. Um, it, it does provide it pretty well. Now, watching it in person it's okay it's not really the greatest i did have a backdrop i did purchase from amazon that i put on the wall you can see the hooks up there i had it on the wall earlier um i took it off now but um you know it's it's okay it's not the best now i don't know if the 4k imagery is going to be better or whatnot but as you can see here the horizontal lines are still there unfortunately uh, keep in mind, don't don't worry about this corner here. This is the edge of the wall, but you can see here, uh, it, it gets pretty uh, balanced in, 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 in terms of making it straight on the imagery. Um, so those are the, the main two cons, is the horizontal line, the fan that keeps everything very hot. And uh, the third one is a, a big one as well, that if you do power this off and power it, try to power it back on, it takes quite a bit of time. It takes, you know, at least a minute and a half, two minutes. And if you read the reviews on Amazon, you're probably going to see the same thing that other people have placed. But, you know, this is this is the control. It takes two AAA batteries to put in it. Um, you know, it has a variety of different inputs that we talked about earlier. But, you know, overall, it's not a bad product. I think it could be better. Uh, if you've got a very small space uh, room or area... You know, you move, you don't want something heavy like a TV or large in terms of size. 
getting this will be i think the best best point i mean unless you want to get a monitor like i do then you know this the, you know then this will probably be the better if you want a big big screen to be presented on the wall um so you know another problem i have with this is uh the functionality to have wi-fi you know there's a lot of uh projectors i mean they're a little bit higher price of course but they do have the functionality okay to go online like you know a samsung tv when you purchase it you have the ability to do that now there are other competitors to Optima that do provide that, and at the same price point, you know, eleven hundred, twelve hundred dollars, or whatnot. Uh, LG produces one is much actually much smaller than this. Uh, that do provide that, so that's that's one downside. And a, another downside is this is not a lightweight projector. Now, it's not heavy, but it's not light. Okay, this is about approximate. If you got like. Uh, three laptops you put it together is going to be the weight of two three laptops like three 15 inch dell and Spron laptops or just 15 inch regular laptops plus or minus a little bit but you get the gist of it is not that light uh it, it has some heft to it um so you know optima as well as a brand it is a a, a chinese company uh, that has produced this uh, projector so um, you know, the price point is, you know, a little bit cheaper than LG, which is a Korean brand or, you know, other companies that may, and, and there's, there's several other Chinese brand companies that do make a projector at 4k that do have a soundbar. Another downside, this does not have a soundbar. This does not have a, a speaker or, or whatever. It doesn't have any of that in there. Um, or, you know, from my understanding now, I don't know if it does or not. I don't think it does. Uh, but from looking at it, playing around with it, it, it does not. Um, so keep that in mind, and you're probably not going to get a uh, you know good uh, sound quality from it anyway. So you might want a sound bar. Uh, anyways, this is just a quick review of the product. If you guys have any questions, please post them below. Happy to answer it. Um, it you know, if you uh, like this video it was helpful press the like button subscribe for more videos i i purchase a variety of different technologies and different items and i do reviews on them uh similar to this one so if this was helpful uh press subscribe and uh watch you, you know, catch you guys on the next video thanks